हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो वी स्टार्ट विद द नेक्स्ट दैट इज द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सिंगल सो ऑलरेडी इन लास्ट वीडियो वी वी स्टडी विद वी वी स्टडी दैट द सिंगल्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन फ्रॉम द बॉडी एंड दे कवर द बॉडी सिंगल्स सो दिस सिंगल्स सपोज दिस इज द पैरालिशन सो हियर ऑल वी कवर ऑल द पैरालिशन ऑफ दिस another diagram okay so now you are able to observe the uh, diagram here okay uh, here we are going to see here we are taking the transversation suppose this is the cilia okay and if we cut it like this way manje thodkya tar ke apan ancha tukda kela okay is cilia hai pura ha cut kela cilia then ithe kasa structure is there that is known as the transversation okay so here if we are cutting 
These are the central fibers. Okay, two central fibers are there. The two central fibers having the angle of movement the end shock. Okay, and the sheet which is covered with the pedic, uh, so the central fibrin, that sheet is in the diameter 60 and so on. These are the two central fibers. Okay, these central fibers they are covered by the uh, actually they are covered by the sheet called the pedic. Then the peripheral fibers are there. The peripheral, there are nine peripheral fibers are there. That's what we call it as the cilia possesses two plus nine arrangement. So two plus nine arrangement means what? The two central fibers and nine peripheral fibers. So that is known as the two plus nine central. Those central fibers are the no peripheral fibers. Okay. So this two plus nine arrangement is there. The two central fibers are there which are covered by the shape. Outside of that shape, the peripheral nine fibers are there. So these fibers again they are kind of the subfibers. And that nine peripheral fibers they are completely covered on the outer membranous shape. But the inner membranous shape is there, which is responsible for covering only the two central fibers. And the outer membranous shape is there, which is responsible for covering the so in between that, the uh, matrix is present. So in between the inner sheet and the outer sheet, the spaces there, the matrix is present. Now, if you just consider the structure of the peripheral fibril, if we draw the structure in the DNA, so if it gives you uh, the arrangement, see here, this is the subfibril A and subfibril B. So the subfibril A is larger. Circular shape and depending on the uh, subfibril B is there, which is called in the Okay, so here the subfibril uh, uh, B is there. So fibril A and fibril B, they are uh, close with each other, and fibril A gives the R like construction. So this is the exact construction of the peripheral fibril. The diameter, if you just say the diameter of the peripheral fibril, it is 260 angstrom in the diameter. Already we studied the diameter of the central fiber is 250 angstrom. The lone central chain is 250 angstrom and the peripheral fiber is 260 angstrom. Okay, now here the two central um, fibers are there. So these two central fibers they um, just present away from each other and there is a specific distance and right? distance is 350 angstrom. Now go on the central fiber, which is the arrangement is the crucial thing is that you have to be and so on the distances. Okay, so this is about the structure of the PS of cilia. Now here, if you just observe the structure of LS, the longitudinal section. Okay, now longitudinal section, we will have to ask about the longitudinal section part of the So after that, it is the muscle body is there, then the innermost sheet is there, outer sheet is there. And this one is the outermost membranous sheet. If you carefully observe here, the um, central fibers they are present just outside the body of the Okay? Central fibers they are come up to the pedicle only, they are not present inside the sacrifice. But the peri uh, peripheral fibers are there, nine peripheral fibers are there. These peripheral fibers they remain embedded in the cytoplasm because the vessel body or vessel gland we also call it as a fibrosome, so it is also present here. Okay, and so the nine peripheral fibers which are here and uh, up to the or below the uh, pedicle, the longitudinal the peripheral fibers are present and the central fibers they are just present up to the they are not to remain inserted below the body. Okay, so this is about the LS of the cilia. Okay, so this is about the bipolar structure of cilia. So, simply, simple, in a simple way, uh, this is the structure of the cilia which gives you the different fibrils. Okay, the fibrils that you use together produce a simple cilia. But the cilia, by the two different sections or by the different you are able to observe the PS which looks like this way. This is the LS which 
looks like this way and this is the transverse section of the cilia. So try to remember that though we are externally observe this area as a single plate like structure but it is not a single plate like structure. It shows two plus an arrangement, two central and two peripheral. The arrangement is shown here. So this is about the micro structure of cilia. In examination, uh, they may ask you know, the uh, if it is objective type. Just try to remember the distance between the two central fibrils, the diameter of the central fibril, diameter of the peripheral fibril, then uh, the, the peripheral fibril which is part of the fibril A and B. So try to remember all those things. Okay. Uh, so the cilia is a helpful process of Locomotion as well as they are looking for the capturing the movement. Okay, thank you.